So college for me uh, was, was both somewhat exciting but extremely intimidating. Uh, all my life, I struggled with math. I could not do math to save my life. Uh, two plus two literally boggled my mind. Uh, I was uh, just fractions, decimals, and then you, you get into algebra where you start mixing like like letters with numbers. Uh uh, no, no, I I can't I can't do it. I never could do it. And I remember I got uh, kind of labeled and. Uh, I was always put in like the special ed classes for, for math students and I just couldn't do it. And I, it, I, I could eventually do it if I studied super hard and, and I, could, I could grasp it for about a day. But then after that, I would forget it. And I was eventually uh, diagnosed with what's called dyscalculia. And it's like dyslexia, but it's with numbers instead of letters. And it's a math disability that actually a lot of people struggle with. Um, especially with numbers. Um, and so for me, math was extremely hard. And in college, you have to know how to do math. You have to know how to uh, add and subtract and division, simple math. But then also there's algebra and pre-algebra and calculus and uh, just heavier courses that I was going to need in order to graduate. And so that was another reason why I wanted to be a helicopter pilot is because helicopter pilots don't need a college degree. You need flight time. You need the hours, and then you 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 fly, and so that was kind of a the only option that I had for myself, and I limited myself a little bit. But I also believe that if you persist and persist, and you get really good at networking, and you get good at asking questions, and leaning on people for support, and uh, looking for avenues and ways to still accomplish your dreams, it's amazing what happens. I think a lot of people sometimes they just see the wall. Um, you know, but they don't, they don't see the, the possibility, the potential. They don't see the other avenues that you could go to get around the wall. They don't think about the strategies that you could take to jump over the wall or, or start chipping away to get through the wall. Or, and so I had that mentality, thankfully, that I, I, I needed a college degree in order to be able to, to still function and provide for a future family and hopefully find a career at this point in my life that I enjoyed and liked. And so, uh, so for me, it, going back to school was, was, was huge. I had this lady, she, she, her name was Shelly Burrow, and she had done testing where they basically test showing your disability and your logical thinking and what you can and cannot do uh, through your mental capacity, your abilities, your strengths and your weaknesses. And then she compiles a report and then every campus has what's called a disability services. And so I went to, to Shelly and she did all these tests and, and again found out because of dyscalculia um, and my, my brain, how it works, math was just extremely difficult for me. But my other skills in, in speaking or communicating or logical thinking were exceptional and, and I was able to still function and, and, and be a normal person, I guess. And so she compiled this, I, we took this report to the disability services and they ended up letting me graduate from college. That's right, I graduated from college without taking one math class. Um, well, actually that's not true. I did take one math class, but I failed out of it. I, I, I flunked out of it, couldn't do it. Um, but after that, I didn't have to take another math class. I had to take a logical thinking and ethical writing class, and that counted as my math credit. I was a communications major. I studied speech communication and then also emphasized in leadership through the Center for the Advancement of Leadership at UVU, which is uh, one of the highest ranked uh, leadership programs in the, in the country. Uh, for college students. And so that was an amazing experience. So I, 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 I embarked in the college journey with this opportunity to get me through. I didn't have to take a math class. Uh, I graduated college with a 3.7 uh, GPA. I had great, had a, an amazing experience uh, through that. And it was all because a huge part uh, was possible because of Shelley Burrow. And she, uh, made that dream possible for me.